I turned three of these IKEA shoe cabinets into the ultimate custom storage and let me show you how. So first I went to IKEA and I got three IKEA BISA units. These are in white and they are the two drawer units. Then I brought them home to my workshop and I began to build them. Next, I brought them inside to my hallway and this is where I wanted to build the shoe storage. However, do you see how these cabinets don't sit flush to the wall? So I got out my jigsaw and I cut the back of them. That way, when I put them up against the wall, it would sit nice and easy over the baseboards. Next, I got some adhesive and I attached them together. And then I used some clamps to make sure they would dry nice and secure. Then I also screwed them into the wall so these would not budge or go anywhere. Next, I measured the front where the two parts meet together and I got some six millimeter thick MDF, cut it to size and I attached them to the fronts to cover up the gaps. Next, I wanted to cover up the part that I cut that went over the baseboards. So I scribed some MDF, I cut it with my jigsaw so it would fit perfectly into place and then I attached it around the base so it looked built in using some adhesive. I used some more MDF and covered up the bottom pieces where the cabinets meet. That way all three of them look connected and built into the wall. Then I got out some caulk and I caulked around all the gaps and seams to smooth it out and I got it ready to prime and paint. I gave everything a good scuff sand and then I use Slick Stick by Dixie Belle as my primer. This is a great adhesion primer for pieces like these IKEA units that aren't real wood and made of laminate or melamine or plastic. Then I went to the lumber merchant and bought two scaffolding boards. I measured them, I cut them down to size, and I was going to use these two pieces as a rustic piece of wood to make the top of these units and it all looked built in and flush and sat really nicely against the wall. I attached these with some adhesive and I used some nails underneath to make sure it was nice and secure. I then attached my final pieces of trim and once it was all stuck on, I got out two Dixie Belle silk colors. I used Sandcastle and Hampton Olive. I mixed them together in equal ratio to create this beautiful light sage color and I painted my heart away. Then to seal the wood, I used some clear wax and I buffed that in and I went back on top of it with some brown wax to make sure the wood looked rustic and aged and it adds so much definition to it. I loved it. Then I bought these amazing antique looking handles and I used some bronze gilding wax just to lighten it up a bit. And then I added some home decor bits for some final touches. I cleaned up my mirror and lo and behold, I still can't believe these are Ikea shoe cupboards because this is the final look. I love this easy DIY project. I think this would be really easy for you guys to try yourselves and replicate. Now I have so much shoe storage for all my sneakers, slippers, and boots. What you guys think? I absolutely love how this turned out.